Morning date. Welcome to another edition of Morning Date when we get to meet with amazing figures from all walks of life. And I personally have been waiting for this moment for months. Uh, they are the couple with, I think, a thousand personalities <laughs> or a thousand voices. We have a uh, Kristen Joe and Hi. Uh, Michael here in the studio. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Well, thank you very much for coming to our show this time. Not as animals. Not as animals. <laughs> as ourselves. Yeah. As ourselves. But as yourselves. So, well, before we start uh, the interview, would you like to say hello to all of our listeners? Yeah, sure. Um, hi, hello, everyone. I'm Kristen Cho, and I'm actually the host of Power English. Right before our show. Right before the show. Yes. yes. And also a voice actor mm -hmm. by trade. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. And? Uh, my name's Michael. Um, happy to be here. I'm pleased to be happy meeting everybody. Um, yeah, I'm also a voice actor here. I've been working sort of freelance doing these sorts ah, of jobs. I see. So, 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 since both of you are voice actors, mm -hmm. of course you are also a renowned Chan Seng Yun, but uh, today, uh, you know, we would like to appeal the voice acting part okay. of your career. Mm -hmm. So, since you have so many voices, well, do you have any other uh, specific voice that you like to impersonate? Well, you know, when Bororo came out, uh -huh. the first season, I was actually Eddie. This was oh. a time when nobody knew about Bororo. So, mm -hmm. so I took on the Eddie character for season one. The English version is me. So it's like, hey, Bororo, hey, I've got like a project that I'm working on. You want to help me? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That sounds so Eddie. Yes, that's Eddie. Mm, Mike? I, <laughs> I was Poby. Were you Poby? The big, the big, oh, the uh, big bear. The big bear. The oh. big gentle bear. And how was the voice then? Um, he's just a, yeah, he's just a big gentle fluffy guy. I, mm -hmm. I prefer doing bad guys when I when I do characters though. I like they're more interesting. They're yeah. more they're fun to do that, the evil, the villains and yeah. stuff. Yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah. Let's try evil Poby. <laughs> That's good, evil Poby. Come here, Pododo. No. Oh. No. <laughs> but now they have different voices. That's too bad. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, thank you very much for coming to our show. Yes. And um the reason uh, why, you know, uh, I wanted to have you here on Morning Day was that I am so fascinated with Fables for You, which uh -huh. is one of the most representative corners of, wow. our, of our program. Great. That's and awesome. I'm, and I'm always amazed at the, uh, <laughs> at, uh, what would I say, at your performance, <laughs> you know, every day, uh, yeah. around like two, three minutes a right. day, mm -hmm. but that's a huge impact. <웃음> 네, 저희 프로그램을 사랑해 주시는 분들 중에서 특히 Fables for You가 상당히 인기 있는 코너인데요. 그 Fables for You의 모든 목소리들, 모든 등장 인물들을 이두 분께서 항상 소화를 하고 계십니다. 그래서 <웃음> 어, 많은 분들이 궁금해 하실 것 같아서 저희 오늘 특별한 모닝 데이트에 모셨습니다. 자, 아, 저희 모닝 데이트 이야기를 좀더 나누기 전에 일단 오늘의 퀴즈를 내드리도록 하겠습니다. 저희 모닝 데이트를 들으시면서 정답을 맞춰주시면 좋을 것 같은데요. 자, 오늘의 퀴즈는요. When a voice is heard narrating a story in a movie, we call that a... 자, 정답은 몇 번일까요? 1번은 네, voice over, 2번은 음, nose over, 3번은 foot over 라고 합니다. Oh, where that's does, really yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where does this <laughs> <I know> come <laughs> from? Yeah. 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 정답을 알고 계신다면 다시 한번 말씀드릴게요. When a voice is heard narrating a story in a movie, we call that a 1번 voice over, 2번은 nose over, 3번은 foot over 입니다. I don't know if I pronounced that number two correctly. Nose over. Well, <laughs> I really think it could be anything because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 네. it's up to you. 정답을 알고 계시는 분들께서는 유료 문자 샵 1045번, 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원이고요. 어, 아니면 무료로 저희 뭐 반디 게시판이나 아니면 카카오톡 플러스로 보내주셔도 되겠습니다. 자, 오늘 정답 맞춰주신 분들 중 저희가 몇 분을 추첨해서 또 상품을 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. 자, 저희 그 Fables for You에 항상 이렇게 목소리를, 목소리, voice acting을 mm -hmm. 담당하고 계신데요. 아, 
do you do these kind of works often, like impersonating I don't know animals or all the time? Well, it depends. Uh, you know, it depends on the project that you get. Mm -hmm. So if you have an animation project, those are always fun because you can put on voice different yeah. uh, voices. Also, storybooks. Mm -hmm. That's another place where you put on different voices. Mm -hmm. oh, how, sure. about, how about you, Michael? Yeah, there's animation. There's also, uh, there's also uh, singing sort of jobs. A lot of uh, educational stuff has singing and chanting. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, there's the, the taglines you hear at the end of commercials. Oh, that come yes. up every once in a while. Mm. My, my, my favorite one Which was one? emotional technology. LG Scion. Oh, so that was you. That was me. Oh, that was you. That was my, I awesome. see. My very first job. So in commercials <laughs> too. Uh, and how about you, Kristen? Well, oh, I've done so many. It's been almost what eighteen years since <gasps> I've been voice acting. Mm -hmm. So we have done a lot, a lot. Uh, on one of the cable channels, the, the one thing that I remember was that I recorded for a, an airlines, a Korean yeah. airlines. Mm -hmm. There's two that we know yeah. and it was on the international flight and so every time I would go home to LA I would hear my voice mm -hmm. thank you for flying <laughs> yeah. blank blank airlines yeah. <laughs> yeah. and so you know it's just like there's just so many that's just one of the thousands that we've done yeah. so uh, since both of you have already such long careers in this field well what uh, what is required to become a voice actor mm. I think good question maybe Mm. A good voice, but how do you determine what a good voice mm. and a bad voice is? I think it's also like a character, a voice with character. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like we were saying before, it's kind of a playful sort of expressive personality, maybe and not not being too afraid of maybe looking a bit silly. Uh -huh. There's a, you have to sort of enjoy uh, but, making, playing with your voice. and. But even though you yeah. act silly, you know that you sound great, right? Oh, I don't know. Well, you know, oftentimes what happens is that a lot of these uh, voice actors, English voice actors, they kind of stumble into it. So someone says, "Oh, you've got a good voice. You know, you wanna you wanna do some recordings," and then the and then the what determines how long you will go yes. as a voice actor mm -hmm. is really if you have some key. Oh, you gotta have some key. You gotta have some like natural inborn talent. Mm -hmm. So like you know they say okay do it, read it like this or do this character. You gotta know right away. Like sometimes you just can't be trained mm -hmm. to do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You kind of just have to know what to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. 그러니까요 이렇게 몇몇까지의 yeah. 아 어떻게 보면 모든 재능들이라고나 할까 이런 것들은 우리가 개발을 할수 있다기보다는 타고나는 부분이 a little bit, 네. yeah, yeah. 타고나는 부분이 뭔가 기본이 돼야 되는 것 같아요. Right. I think these talents, uh, well, too bad for people who are hard workers, but you have to be born with it. <laughs> right. Born with yeah, the it's a little bit like yeah. it's true though. And it maybe is. you can work hard to become a better, better uh, sure. person right. in that mm -hmm. field, but I think you know basically you have to be born with it. Right, right. right. So it's not just about having a good voice. It's mm -hmm. about able being able to deliver mm -hmm. that voice in a certain way, the way the client wants to hear it mm -hmm. or a certain character. That sort of thing is also important. 네. 자, 오늘은 저희 가장 아, 사랑받고 있는 코너 페이버스 보이로 담당하고 계시는 성우, 성우 두 분과 함께 음. 이야기를 나눠 보고 있습니다. 그런데 물론 영어 성우라는 것을 떠나서 일단 성우 자체라는 그런 새로운 필드 저희, 저에게는 상당히 그런 새로운 필드인데요. 필드에 대한 흥미진진한 얘기를 계속해서 나눠 볼수 있게 될것 같습니다. 자, 일단 노래 한곡 듣고 계속해서 이야기 나눠 보도록 할게요. 네, 루베가의 Give It Up 듣고 왔습니다. 자, 오늘 모닝 데이트는 저희 에, 어떻게 보면 은 저희 프로그램 뿐만 아니라 우리 방송국 EBS를 거의 대표하고 있는 성우 두 분과 함께 이야기 나누고 있습니다. 크리스틴 조 선생님 그리고 마이클과 함께 이야기 나누고 있는데요. 저희가 이 모닝 데이트 시작할 때 내드렸던 퀴즈 다시 한번 알려드리면서 시작해 볼까 봐요. 네, when a voice is heard narrating a story in a movie, we call that a... 자, 1번 voice over, 2번 nose over, 3번은 foot over 입니다. 정답을 알고 계시는 분들께서는 샵 1045번으로 보내주시고요. 아니면 어, 뭐 저희 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스를 통해서 보내주셔도 되겠습니다. 정답 맞춰주신 분들 중 저희가 몇 분을 추첨해서 또 
좋은 상품을 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. 자, 저희가 이제 성우에 대해서 얘기를 좀 해봤는데요. Mm. Of course, we talked about the talent, the key, and things like that. But uh, of course, you know, uh, the basic would be a good voice. Yeah. So when did you know that you had a good voice? Oh my, you know, you know, I started more, uh, actually, EBS, it's been 20 years. And uh, someone came, how I got started in this business was uh, someone came in for an interview at the Hakon that I was working yes. at. And she took the interview and she played it on morning special. Oh. And the PD, the PD at the time, actually liked my voice. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I kind of, I had no idea I had a nice voice. Oh. I didn't really know. I mean, I enjoyed singing when I was in the States and, mm -hmm. and I liked to dabble in that, but I didn't know I had like a voice acting voice. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I got started. And then when you first started doing it? Yeah. So I was doing radio and then a friend of mine said, Hey, Kristen, you know, you could do very well with voice acting. So come join me. And that's how I started to go full time. Mm, well, how was it the first time? Wasn't it like, let's say, embarrassing, you know, acting? You know, you know, the thing is, I don't think you could do this unless you have that sort of uh, talent or kind of like that performing... Mm -hmm bug mm -hmm. in you, right? Because yeah. if you're embarrassed and if you're shy and if it makes you uncomfortable, you can't do it. Ah, you actually enjoy doing it. Yeah. Right, Mike? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I fell into I, I When I was a kid, I had a little tape recorder that I would actually goof off with, mm -hmm. with my friends and we would, for fun, just make little skits and stuff. Yeah. And, and that went into performance later on in school and, and music and performance in that regard. So there was a confidence and just a, 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 a familiarity with performing and using your voice and mm. so when I had the opportunities when I was in Korea mm -hmm. I, I sort of naturally gravitated towards it and, and enjoyed see. it. You know, you know so, Mike is a rock star. Oh, no, I don't. I don't <laughs> He's so, a musician. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. so you started off as a, as a singer? Yeah, I did some singing and, mm -hmm. and have a background in music so that helped me a lot with, with just playing with different voices I guess as well. Yeah, so I see. Started there. So for, for voice actors, is acting a big part of your career or are they just uh, voice actors who just narrate and who just, you know, reads mm. books and things like that? That's a good question. Actually, the acting is not always. Usually, it's uh, if it's educational, you know, we have like the TOEIC test and yes. stuff like that. Um, also, there's the Hongbo, the company narrations mm -hmm. that you do that's very common. Sometimes you have like the commercial taglines, the CF taglines yeah. that he just did. So you have a wide variety of things that people want. And so acting, I would say maybe what? What would you say? Like a... Well, pure 20%? acting, like characterizations yeah. Yeah. are a very small part of it, but everybody will kind of want a flavor or a feeling, yes. right? Yes. Even if you have like one word uh -huh. or two words, mm -hmm. there's like, it has to be happy or mm -hmm. it has to be deep and dramatic. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's so many ways you can express even two or three syllables. Yes. That's where the real challenge That's is. That's true. Think. That's true. Because even when you do a company narration, depending on the company and their product, they want a certain type of voice. Oh, can you make it a little bit serious? Can you make it uh, very friendly? Mm -hmm. So they have certain demands, and you need to know right away. You go in there, you get the script, and you got to just do it right there. Wow. Yeah. So it actually <laughs> sounds much more complicated because for other actors... Let's say, you know, they have other means to express themselves, mm -hmm. not only the voice, mm -hmm. but they have their gestures and they also right. have their, mm -hmm. uh, you know, facial expressions mm -hmm. and other things. But you have to do it purely with your voice. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So it's like they know exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you need to be on the ball. You need to know what you're doing. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. to have an intuition, I think, yes. too. I mean, you can tell when you're on the phone with somebody, you can tell if the person is smiling or not, depending mm -hmm. on like, yeah. how their, their muscular, their, their neck is or mm -hmm. how their face mm -hmm. is. So that's something that we can pick up on all the time. But you probably are not, maybe not aware of it, but you have a voice for radio and you understand like the mood you have to be in and, and how you present yourself. It's an intuitive maybe, thing. Maybe. I mean, maybe I should know about those kind of things. <laughs> maybe. Oh, I'm sure it's that. It's I'm sure. Right? I'm, I'm sure you know no. about those things. And you probably don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you can really think about and work on. It's like you just know. Yeah. You just know. 네. Yeah. 그러니까 아무튼 이 성우를 하시려면 대부분의 경우 
무슨 훈련 방법이 있을지는 모르겠으나 오늘 이두 선생님께서는 두 분께서는 그냥 우연히 라고 해도 되겠죠. 예. 그러니까 다른 사람들이 아, 목소리가 좋다 해서 이쪽 길로 네, 이렇게 들어오게 된 경우인 것 같습니다. 그런데요. For an average person mm. like me, yeah. <laughs> you know, let's say when you hear your voice for the first time through other means, yeah, like maybe a recorded tape or you know mm. on the radio or on the speaker, it sounds weird. It's yes. it's, it's very it different is. from the voice that you recognize. Yeah. It's very true. You know what? I did an. Uh, I did a the G same for you too. Well, you know, I did a GPS recording, like a nav mm -hmm. recording for a big, you know. Uh, app yeah and I didn't realize that my voice was there and then I was in the car with my friends and they had the app on and I was like wait a second that's my voice yeah it was very weird yeah very I, can, I can always recognize my voice but it always sounds different in my head than it does right play back to me true so there's always that sort of moment where you're like oh, huh that's me that's right. me oh right. so it's the same for both of you too that yeah. the voice sounds different yeah sure now, which, sure which voice do you prefer I like the one in my head. In my head. I'm used to it. You know, I don't know. You know, I, I just think, I don't even think about my voice. And then when people are saying, oh, it's your voice and you have a nice voice. I'm like, well, thank you. But I don't know that I have such a nice voice. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 다르잖아요. 성우분도 right. 다르시다 합니다. Right. 그리고 대부분의 경우는 내가 듣는 내 목소리를 더 좋아하는데 성우분들도 크게 다르지 않으실 거라는 yes. 생각이, 네, 생각이 드네요. 자 그러면 이 voice acting을 할때 when you voice act, you know, uh, 왜 배우들은 연기 훈련 같은 것도 하잖아요. Actors, they train themselves. You know, sometimes, let's say an actor in a movie, they would have to, you know, find, make a character and then they work on it and then maybe I don't know they have other partners to help them you know create their character sometimes they have to you know stay uh, fit so some people will gain weight and lose weight what preparations do you have to go through as a voice actor nothing <laughs> You know, it's so funny. People ask me, how do you, how do you maintain your voice? Mm -hmm. You know, do you drink certain liquids or do you, you know, do you do exercises? And, you know, I, I don't do any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think we've yeah. made it clear to our listeners. You, you, just have, you just have to be born with it. <laughs> so, I don't know. How about be, you, Mike? Be relaxed, I think, is yeah. always a good to just be loose and sort of don't, don't, don't tense up mm -hmm. if, at the sound of your own voice. Just sort of have, yeah, have fun with it. It's, like anything when you're performing, uh, your your mental state going into it should just be fun. As natural as possible, right? As natural as, as, possible. Natural as possible. 네. 자, 어떻게 그 상황에서 내출을 할 수가 있는지 저는 그, 그, 그 부분이 아직도 가끔 들으면서도 민망할 때가 있는데 네, 직접 하실 때는 어떨까 이게 궁금하기도 합니다. So, uh, I know that you know you take time to record all of the fables mm. that we have on our show and mostly it, it's about animals mm -hmm. and uh, of course there's always the good one and there's always this bad one uh, in most of the time. So, do you remember any character or any fable that you recorded? Well, you know what? I don't know about the fables. There's so many, but I feel like the donkey is come up a lot. Don't you think, Mike? The, yeah, donkey, the donkey is a very popular character. <laughs> it's like, don't love those donkeys <laughs> and the foxes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Donkeys, foxes, and yeah. lions. And lions. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. The archetypical kind mm -hmm. of animals. Mm -hmm. The donkeys are kind of like hardworking, but kind of dumb. Right. Yeah. Foxes We're, are like, you know. Yeah, real smart. Yeah. Sly, Clever. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, strong lions. So most of the time, uh, you would do the donkey, right, Michael? Uh, many times <laughs> I've donkeyed. Yeah, I think donkeyed. I think you've donkeyed as well a few times. I've donkeyed. Yeah. yeah. And you've also lioned. I've lioned. I usually yeah. do the lion. Yeah. 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 Well, your voice is like uh, you gotta. Uh, mm -hmm. King of the jungle. King yeah. of the jungle. And also, Kristen, yeah. you're always foxing. I'm foxing. <laughs> that's right. It's very easy to do those types of characters. Yes, and all those uh, <laughs> and all those birds. Oh, very yes. Yes, mm -hmm. but the most the 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 best characters are usually the bad characters or mm -hmm. something that's very unusual about them because you mm -hmm. can really focus. Yeah, I think it's just because we're such angelic good people mm -hmm. in our hearts. So you have to act. We have to really yeah, really, really try to sound mm -hmm. villainous. 
It's hard. It's more of a challenge, but more of a stretch. Yeah. 너무 착한 분들이라서 악역을 악역을 할 때가 가장 도전적이라고 가장 어렵다라고 이야기를 해주시는데요. 우리 제작진이 our staff says that Kristen 선생님은 snake 정말 잘하셨어요. 특히 그 할때 너무 잘했고요. Because it's me. 그리고 마이크는 소를 정말 잘했어요. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Hey, do you practice like these kind of? Because no, <laughs> no. The animal sounds mm-hmm. like I don't know, maybe cock a doodle doo or anything. Mm-hmm. Any other sounds or. I think we've just had a lot of practice, don't you think? Yeah, I Mike? think it's we've had a lot of practice. Yeah, just mm-hmm. from experience and uh, and you know sometimes when you're out with friends and you're storytelling, mm-hmm. you might use voices. It does it does become a little bit more part of your character, maybe. But another thing, important thing is when you're doing something like this, it's very important that you work with someone who's on your wavelength. So like I really love working with Mike Mm -hmm. and that's why I asked him to come work with me on this project because he's so good and we kind of feed off of each other. Mm -hmm. And so that's important too, that dynamics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Christine, would you please do the, the uh, you know, read the quiz question for us? All right. Um, what kind of voice would you like? Uh, the, the evil one. The evil. The snake one. When a voice is heard narrating a story in a movie, we call that a... A. Mike, take over. Voice over? Two. Nose over? Three. Foot over? Good job. <웃음> 네. 자, 정답을 알고 계시는 분들께서는요, 저희에게 아, 샵 1045번으로 보내주시기 바랍니다. 샵 1045번은 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원이 되겠고요. 아니면 저희 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스를 통해서 보내주셔도 되겠습니다. 정답 보내주신 분들 중 저희가 몇 분을 추첨해서 저희가 준비한 선물을 보내드리도록 하겠습니다. 자 노래 한곡 듣고 그리고 나서 모닝 데이트 계속해서 이어갈게요. This is Cliff Richard Summer Holiday.